Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the island perimeter problem. You are given a map in form of a two-dimensional integer grid, where one represents land and zero represents water. Grid cells are connected horizontally, vertically, not diagonally. The grid is completely surrounded by water, and there is exactly one island, that is, one or more connected land cells. The island doesn't have lakes, water inside that isn't connected to the water around the island. One cell is a square with side length 1. The grid is rectangular, width and height don't exceed 100. Determine the perimeter of the island. So, as you can see, in this problem they give you this example. The input is a two-dimensional array of integers, where 0 represents water and 1 represents land. So, there's one island, and the perimeter is 16, so the method returns 16. Why? because the perimeter is a 16 yellow stripes in the image below. As you can see, this, you can think of this island as this image. So you can see that all these borders are the perimeter. And for instance, this one is this cell. And the borders are the one at the top, the one at the left, and the one at the bottom. The one at the top, the one at the left, and the one at the bottom. But then this one is connected to this one. So you have one at the bottom for this one here, and one on the right, and then one on the right, and one on the bottom here. So one on the right, one on the right, and one on the bottom here, and then one on the right, on the right for this one, as you can see, and on top of the one. So this is the problem. We need to find the perimeter of the island. How can we solve this problem? What we can do is that we can traverse the 2D array of integers, and we can check the boundaries and if we find land then we need we need to check the boundaries and check if there's a zero and then calculate the border accordingly so without further ado I'm gonna show you how to write the code first I'm gonna say if grid equals equals null if the reference is null or grid that length equals equals zero or grid sub zero that length equals equals zero then I just return zero so I'm just checking that the input is valid and then I will get the number of rows m gets a value of grid that length the number of columns n gets a value of grid sub zero that length and the final result which is the number of islands initialized to zero then I will traverse the 2D array of integers. So for integer i gets a value of 0, i is less than the number of rows, plus plus i. For integer j gets a value of 0, j is less than the number of columns, plus plus j. Then if greed sub i sub j equals equals 0, that means that this right now is water. What I'm looking at right now is water. So I just continue. Because if that's water, that means that I cannot calculate um, the border here. Otherwise, down below, that means that this is land. So I just need to calculate the surrounding regions. Check if there's a zero to the right, then I have a right border. If there's a zero, um, to the left, then I have a left border. If there's, for instance, in this case, if if it, if this is the first column, then and there's a one here, then I know that uh, I can calculate this as a border too. So I will handle all these conditions. So first, if i equals equals zero, or greed, so by minus 1 sub j equals equals 0 then plus plus result increment the number um, the perimeter the perimeter of the of the island why because as I explained um, if I'm on the first for instance if I'm on the first row like this one here this is a 1 and I'm on the first row and then I see that um, it's a 1 I know that there's a border above so I have to add it to the final result. 
for the perimeter. Also, if I'm here, this is not the first row, but I see, if I'm here, this is not the first row, but I see that above, there's a zero, then I have one border above, so I have to add it. And that's what I'm going to do for all the cases. So I will continue handling these cases. So if I equals equals the number of rows minus one, that means that if, if this position is the last row, or if greed sub i plus one sub j equals equals zero, then I also want to increment it. I will say plus plus result. If j equals equals zero, if this is the first column of greed or greed sub i sub j minus one equals equals zero, then plus plus result. If j equals equals the number of columns minus one or greed sub i sub j plus one equals equals zero, then I also increment the final result. And then I just return the final result, which is the number, um, which is the perimeter of the island. So I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big of m times n, and the space complexity is big of one. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.